going on guys? Alex Survey on 480C and I have yet again another unboxing to do for you guys today. Uh, this is coming in from Miguel ZDC, courtesy of the Lefty, uh, Lefty Pass Arm Group. Uh, I just was reading his address and I almost, yeah, put, put two of them together. But this is coming in from the Lefty Pass Arm Group. Uh, unboxing knife is the Kershaw Highball XL. Um, just grab this from my knife case. Uh, this is the one of the first knives my now wife ever got me. Um, don't really carry it much, but I do like to get it out and fidget with it once in a while. Um, and this is the unboxing knife for today. But uh, yeah, this is Tuesday, so I hope you guys are having a good start to your week. Um, I got this in yesterday, but I didn't have um, a whole lot of time to sit down and film it. So that's why it's getting posted in, or unboxed and posted today. You guys will see this today. Um, so, but this is another Tuya model. Uh, don't uh, don't pay much too too much attention to the closet doors. I usually try to close them, but my wife. So the way our apartment is set up, this is our guest bedroom. Um, I utilize the closet in our bedroom, and this one was a little bit bigger, so my wife uses this one. Uh, and she just got done, you know, I think doing some laundry or something. She kind of has some stuff set out, and I didn't want to move them, so that's why the doors are open. But typically, try to close them for you guys. Um, but this is a Tuya model, uh, kind of had a stream of Tuyas in recently. Uh, actually, I have two of the Wrath or Wraith V2s in right now. Um, so this will be the third model that I'm getting in, but I'm excited for this one. Uh, this is the Scapioid, or Scapioid, Scapioid. Um, and this is, I believe a Jim Skelton design. Uh, and I think I heard Kevin say that this is probably his favorite Tuya model, um, but it's S90V in satin with titanium and carbon fiber um, and it's a flipper i think with the tanto style blade uh, it comes into his typical hard shell case which is really nice i really like that they do that um, it just makes you know it goes a little bit far it goes a little bit um past what is what's what i'm looking for it's just it they, i mean they take the extra step they take the extra mile um to you know provide nice packaging um, just things like that just, just it's the little things um, but get that out of there, put that back in there, and here it is, guys. So, you guys can see the big flipper up top, beautiful carbon fiber inlays, mill titanium clip that is very, very similar, or if not the same clip that is on the Kaladin, which would make sense because this is also a skeleton design. Um, there's this logo right there. Frame lock, backspacer, nice detent. Just that, I mean, I'm not typically a Tanto type of guy, uh, but this one looks really cool. You have a compound grind, so you have a uh, hollow down here and kind of a chisel up here. You have a swedge bone up top with some jimping. Sterile side over there, and you have the Tuya logo right there. Honestly, Argos are not right away my first impression ergos are kind of uncomfortable because the way that this flipper tab sits back into the knife um it's honestly kind of it's it's pretty uncomfortable if i'm being honest which is i'm surprised by this um, i was actually really excited for this knife yeah so it's a frame lock you have two little lock owls right there smooth knife or smooth action no blade play um but where you have to access the blade or the lock bar, you it immediately hit your thumb. Um, so I'm not a big fan of that. I would love for it to kind of you know drop down a little bit more, but it's very smooth. Nice snappy detent. Yeah, I'm just I'm a little bit disappointed with the ergos because that flipper tab just digs into your hand so much. And yeah, you can choke back. I mean, I guess that's a little bit comfortable that way, but I don't know. I was just like as soon as you grip that, it's just it's it's jutted into your finger there. Um, so it's really not comfortable that way. You can choke up a little bit, um, but yeah, gotta say I'm a little bit disappointed. I mean, I, I really wanted to like this knife, and I I mean, there you go. So you you can see the action coming through there. Almost. I mean, it's just kissing my cuticle, but I mean, super duper smooth. Um, very drop. I mean, shutty. If you didn't have uh, a frame lock if you had a lock or a liner lock it would probably be really drop shutty but just super duper smooth or you can do the 
one drop and you're you're down. Um, but yeah, I mean it, it's made very well. Uh, that's one thing that Tuya, Tuya has always really stood out to me. Um, and I'll give you guys full specs and prices and everything like that with the four of you, of course. But Tuya consistently comes in sub. $300. I mean, they're always in that $250 to $300 range, which I think for the materials you're getting from them, I mean, you're always getting S90V, fat carbon, carbon fiber, full titanium, uh, multiple multiple ways of deploying, you know, the knife. Um, just really good fit and finish, high, high build quality. Um, and I think that goes a long way. Um, and that's why I'm, you know, I've been a big fan of Tuya, um, you know, for the last year or so, ever since I've kind of gotten into their models. Uh, and I've been, you know, blessed enough to check out most of their new stuff. Um, there's only been one knife that I really haven't liked by them, and that is the Voodoo that I just reviewed last month, I believe. Um, you know, this isn't going to be on the level of the Voodoo Boy by any means, because uh, there are ways to work around that. But I just really wish that maybe the flipper tab was up a little bit more and you just were able to get all of your thumb or all of your pointer finger down into this little, you know, um, recessed area. Because uh, like I said, ergos are probably going to be my least favorite part about this knife. Um, we'll see how it carries and everything like that, but uh, it is really cool. Very snappy detent, which is nice to see on a flipper tab. And uh, yeah, so that was my unboxing of the Tuya Scapioid, um, a Jim Skelton design, and, and via the Lefty Pass Around Group. So uh, I'm gonna wrap this up now, but um, let me know down below. Did you guys pick up one of these? Have you handled one before? Um, you know, what are your opinions on it? Because it's not too often that I, you know, pick up a knife and I immediately grip onto it. I'm like, Man, this is uncomfortable. Um, it doesn't happen too often. So, uh, but like I said, I'm going to wrap this up now. So, thank you guys again so much for watching. I greatly appreciate each and every single one of you guys. I hope you have a fantastic, fantastic rest of your morning, evening, day, night, whenever you are watching this. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.